Let's make your grandma's staple a pot roast. So, your grandma made pot roast. All of our grandmas made pot roast, obviously. But your grandma probably didn't have the recipe for it, and neither did mine. You know why? Because it was just something that they did. You didn't need a recipe for it. This is my grandma's recipe box. All of my grandma's recipes that uh, stood the test of time. It's not very many because my grandma just didn't need the recipe for most things. She just knew. So, just in case your grandma didn't pass down that knowledge to you, I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to make your grandma's pot roast. And what's more is I'm going to do it in a short video because most of y'all know how to cook. And you can guess the steps in between. And you don't need me to waste your time with showing you how to peel and chop a carrot. All right? So... We're gonna do a quick and dirty your grandma's pot roast and get right to it and get our families fed nutritionally um, back to basics and in the homestead way all right come on since this is a quick and easy video that I'm not going to break down all of the steps into ridiculous little increments let me just show you what we've got in here now your grandma would have used anything that she had on hand Basically, if it grows inside the ground or just on top of it, it can go in a pot roast. I've got some turnips, potatoes, carrots, onions, and celery. Now, I've got a bottom round roast here, but your grandma would have used whatever she had. Now, some grandmas would have uh, seared this in a separate pan first and then added it into the roast. My grandma wouldn't have. Why dirty another pan? when you've already got one going. And I guarantee you, our seasonings would have been very simple. We're gonna start with salt and pepper. Plenty of salt because you're going to be making the gravy with this, don't you know? After it's nice and cooked. And then here's the pepper. Again, plenty of it because we're gonna be making that gravy. And she probably kept it fairly simple with some onion and garlic powder. Yes, even though we've already got onions in here. Now, my grandma was not a spice person, but yours might have been. Especially if they were further south. Mine was born and raised in Idaho, and the furthest that she went was Washington State. So, she had very plain tastes. However, I know a lot of grandmas would add in a jar of pepperoncinis with the juice. Now, I don't have a jar of pepperoncinis, but I do have these candied jalapenos that I made, and it's only half a jar. So, we're going to just sprinkle a little bit of this around down here, just a little bit, because it is sweetened, and I don't want it to be too sweet. Okay, and I think just because my family likes it, now since my family likes it, I went ahead and added a few of the jalapenos on the top, and now we're going to cover it. We're going to pop it in the oven at 350, and we want it to be in there at least three hours. You can drop the temperature after a little while to about 250 if you like, or you can keep it at 350. All right, let's see. So it just it's before done. supper time. Grandma would have taken the roast out of the oven and moved the pan up to the stove top because we're going to use that pan to make gravy. Let's go ahead and move all of our veggies onto a separate plate so that we can take the rack out and start stirring up our broth. With the heat on about medium, we're going to get a whisk and stir it up. Break up any little bits. And then your grandma may have used flour. Mine used cornstarch in milk. So cornstarch in milk. Pour it into the boiling broth. And then we're going to stir it up and let it thicken. Now if you're liking this video so far... Try checking out some of my other ones. I've got canning and cooking and other homestead videos. 
And now to carve up the roast. Now I'm sure your grandma had it well done, but it was still fork tender. And that's how this roast turned out for us as well. It was delicious and moist and not at all dry or tough. I really enjoy cooking the way that my grandma did and I use a lot of her recipes in my videos. So if you like to see some of that old style cooking, check out some of the other videos. Thanks for putting up with my kind of off voice. We had a bout of bronchitis run through the house, but hopefully this wonderful pot roast will give us some much needed healing. Um, good nutritious food, bare basics, and uh, just what your grandma knew by heart and never felt the need to write down. If you have any questions, <coughs> please let me know. Also, please tell me what kind of videos you would like to see me make and put out there for you all. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the little uh, choir of small angels yelling in the background. And God bless y'all, and we'll see you next time.